seeing what the presidential remit is and how much responsibility the president should or um, indeed can take on. So, this is a situation for you. If a student comes to you uh, one afternoon and says there's a party, a party going on in one of the college, um, college buildings and they think that um, one of the students um, has got drugs in there um, and they're concerned, about, they're concerned about the consequences of this party. Now they've told you, because they see you as a student of responsibility as JCR president, how do you react to this? Do you do anything? And if so, what? Um, I'll go to you again, much in this panel. Um, I, I think like on other issues, maybe there's a bit more of a case of discretion about drugs. Um, I say drugs, you have to report that. You know, and I, I think not reporting that is a, a serious matter. You know, drugs are legal. But also, if the person using the drugs gets caught, and if they're found to have given anyone else, that's, you know, uh, possession of intent to supply. So, that's you, a of jail so you're happy to um, report that student to college and get him sent down? With drugs? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, again, I mean, I, I, I don't think you have much choice in the matter to, I mean, you're here on behalf of the college, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be nice to do it, and it would certainly, you know, you wouldn't enjoy doing it, but I feel that if you like drugs, you can't just use discretion and avoid that, I feel you would have to mention it. To do so, to not to do so would be a failure in your responsibility, really, to ensure that the college is running, well, I, <laughs> no, but it's running, you know, again, people are going to hate for this, but to a bit sensible, I, I feel like, but there are certain issues where you know you can't just say, oh, kids will be kids, students will be students. The drugs are going you know, quite expensive, they're going to be traded. Really you need to. Who do you report this to, though? Like, who would you tell them? No. My, my initial response would be to the reporters. And many times. Do you not think the college system. nurse as someone who has a medical. Yeah, no, it's well, I, I'd say reporters as well would then go, well, we'll get the college nurse. I'm assuming this would be happening out of the college nurse's time, if it's a party at night. Um, I saw Declan's hand up first, I'll take Declan's point and then Lucy's point and then point. I think it's touching on a, a kind of wider issue as to what, like, who, what the JCR president's job is. Like, are you here to protect the students or protect the college or, you know, like represent the students or represent the college? Like, I mean, do you not think a more appropriate kind of plan of action might be to approach the student themselves and make them aware of the consequences rather than, you know, taking sides with... It could well be one of your friends. It could, you know, like you're representing the student body, so I'm, I'm concerned. I think, like maybe like the college nurse going down some sort of like counselling route or whatever, like depending on. Okay. Well, I mean, I wouldn't. I, I would have. To, I would let the person individually know that I was going to have to do something about it. I wouldn't just do it behind their back. But in, in issue to your question about what the what the president's role is, I I feel. As, as you know, as political and cliche as it sounds, he's here for the students, but he's also here to make sure the students obey college rules. And granted, I mean, my first, if I, if somebody put a gun to my set, I had been told I had to take sides, obviously I'm here for the students. But with issues like this, I mean, counselling, yes, tell the nurse, make sure that they have all the welfare they need, but you are still here to ensure that, you know, students obey college rules. At the end of the day, that is still one of your responsibilities, even if you feel that, you know, looking after the students, overtakes that, you still have to obey by the fact that you're here for the college and the students, and so you would have to do something. Yeah, my, yeah uh, my approach actually, my thinking and logic on it is that other students are going to be potentially given drugs or whatever. You don't know how that's going to go. So in a sense, I'm not looking out for college. I'm thinking of the other students. And say, say what, let's say the police randomly read the place. And then that student, yeah, well, we're in hypotheticals here, so, yeah. but let's say a porter walks in and has to report it, and the person with the drugs shoves it into someone else's hand. You know, that's an, that student there is not in big problems. So I think, in a way, if someone's got drugs and they're that type of thing, that could end up seriously impacting the welfare of another student. So I think, in JCR presidency terms, you've got to look out for all the students and the potential risk to other students from that student's actions. So it's not so college-sided. There are issues where you would have to tell college, but in that one, I take it as a view, it's other students you're protecting, it's not college you're protecting. And then there's also other students who are going to be affected by someone being sent down or you know, gaining a criminal record. 
Like, that yeah. would have a, a, an effect on other students' welfare, like the friends of that student. Yes, but uh, drugs are legal, and that's the law. I don't think we can say, oh, well, their, their friends are going to be unhappy. You know, it's a bill of the law. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, don't, I think JCI presence really okay. doesn't um, extend to that. So um, I'll say then from Chip and then. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously, you know, saying you would bother student, obviously, as you've been stressed numerous times, you'd be looking out for the phone, you'd be trying to get counselling or something. I think leaving somebody to, you know, to the drug problem and, you know, to be found out maybe, I mean, I think it's going to be less, <coughs> less painful on them if, you know, they're not found by the D just randomly walking around and having drugs. I think it's, it's going to be less detrimental to other students losing a friend than it is going to be to the one student. You know, falling into a spiral. I think I'm moving just away from the like, how to define Christmas role and potential responsibilities. Um, so I'll go back to the audience. I know this you had a hand up. Yeah, it's not really a presidential responsibility, it's not a question. Uh, so I can postpone it if you like. Uh, okay. Um, does anyone have another sort of point of presidential responsibility? I just want you. So Lucy, you had a hand up. It's not Lucy, it's Flip. Flip, Flip. Flip. sorry. I'm <laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm laughs> I'm I'm definitely put that up a bit. I just was going to say. Um, but what if it was a, a friend that you, like, personally, one of, say one of your best friends that you got tipped off, had drugs? Like, then it's one of you, that's, like, where's your, like, where's your alliance? So are you, what comes first, being JCR president and having a friend, I think, is... Well, kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's kind of like the point. Like, if you found your best friend had drugs, would you really go to help, like, tell them? Tell, tell, um, very much so. First of all, Mr. Lamb, if I... <laughs> if, if I... First of all, I'd say that if it was my friend, that puts me in a difficult position and conflict of interest. Yeah. My solution to that would be, Vice President is there, and it would seem logical to say, look, <coughs> I've got a slight conflict of interest here. My judgment may be out. Can you either come with me in this issue, or can you take it over? Because you've got conflict of interest, that's why the Vice President is there. You know, if you're in a sense not capable of dealing with that because you've got that conflict there. Okay, and then it's not the Okay, yeah, I, this is going to be, like Spencer said, it's going to be one of those situations if it's your best friend rather than, again, again I've come to this and it's going to cause another problem, but if it's your best friend, I don't think you're guaranteed to have a partial judgment on this. And that's what the rest of the committee is there for, to, you know, to back up the president when they're unable to do the work of certain interests. I realise then this is creating an issue of what you're favouritising your friends over people you don't know. But I don't look at it at that, I just look at it in the fact that you can't look at the issue with a close friend with the same sort of open and clear and biased views you'll be able to do with somebody you don't know as personally as well. I don't think that's favouritism, I just think that's realising that you know you can't treat them in the same way and just there's some situations where you're, you're, you're too involved to be able to manage it personally. Okay, well, we're moving into the last 10 minutes, I do want to give Charles the audience to ask any sort of more general questions, uh, but I will take Dougal and Derek's point that it can just come back to uh, yeah, just. I'd like both Ben's to ask, like, speak a little bit more about where they feel they stand on, and Ben Hinton is one of the proposed, but the president is there as a rule enforcer um, in college to make sure students are obeying by rules. Is this really the rule? Because normally how the presidents work is they send out reminders saying, look, so we've had a warning, please calm yourself down a little bit. But at no point have they ever been an enforcer. And I think the job is almost the opposite of the when somebody goes beat on. The president's there to make college understand that, okay, it went a little bit wrong, and try and get the students out of trouble, not enforce them. Um, I'll well, well, I, I, think, I think I may not have made myself clear enough. I mean, like I said yesterday, I don't need any force in the sense that I'm here to, you know, like, I'm here as communication. And communication, like you said, it, it's about making sure that rules are made, not by physically enforcing them, but by reminders and warnings. It's not a case of enforcing them. If you've got that impression, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. I mean, I'm a channel for communication. I'm, I'm just as the college, I'm here for the students as a way for them to voice their concerns to the college. I'm here for the college to voice their concerns to the students. In no way would I feel, just as I feel it would be overstepping the mark to tell the dean how to do his job because the students do it, it would be overstepping the mark the other way by physically enforcing the rules myself. I'm here to communicate, basically. I'm a middleman. Okay. Um, ben Weston, what do you think we'll move on? Yeah, um, I, I don't take it. Well, I agree with your point, and I would take the view that Paul is taking this year. Like, for instance, last night after the open meeting, um, me and Paul
pulling up from the Nordics, but we stopped by the 